Hi, Pinal County. This is your News in 90, sponsored by Jones Ford Buick GMC, your hometown dealer for more than 50 years. I'm Zoe Cooper with the news that you need to know for your Monday. New jobs from companies such as Lucent Motors and Nikola Motor Company, as well as new housing, will bring more students into the Casa Grande area in the next 10 years. It might not be a great increase in the number of students enrolled in the Casa Grande Union High School District schools. There have been dips in the childbirth rate for the state and an increase of charter schools in the district. More of this story is available on PinalCentral.com. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb says that he did not do anything improper when he halted a civil forfeiture of property owned by a campaign donor that has been the source of an ethics complaint against a state lawmaker. The ethics complaint against State Representative David Cook and lobbyist Anna Marie Knorr in what is described as a, quote, bribery scheme. More of this story is available on PinalCentral.com. Pony Express riders kicked off the 2020 edition of the Casa Grande Cowboy Days and Odom Tosh festivities by picking up invitations from the organizers in Casa Grande to deliver them elsewhere in the county. Friday morning, Casa Grande Mayor Pro Tem Lisa Fitzgibbons handed the invitations to Pony Express riders. Events begin in Casa Grande this week. For more information about Cowboy Days and Odom Tosh, check PinalCentral.com. It looks like we'll be in the high 60s today with lows to get to the mid-40s. This has been your News in 90. Check PinalCentral.com for more of your local news. And join us again on Wednesday for, for your midweek report.